If you've been stitching out your stitch book, which is something we recommend when you get a new machine, like your Bernina 570, you might have come across stitch number five and wondered, what in the world is that? So this is actually a favorite stitch for me to share when I teach classes to our Bernina users, because stitch number five is a securing stitch. And I'm gonna show you how to use it and then where to use it. So when you select it, stitch number five has a beginning and it has an end. So once you start it, you kind of need to end it for the next time you go ahead and start it again. So what does it do? It's actually gonna do six stitches forward and then six stitches back, and then it's gonna take off. So as it travels down the fabric, I can tell the machine when I get to the end. I'll be touching the reverse button one time, and then it will finish with those remaining back stitches forward stitches, and then I just keep my foot on the foot control until it comes to a complete stop. So let me show you how this is. Start where your first stitch is to be placed. So I'm gonna be kinda near the beginning of my fabric, and it's gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and then back. And then it's gonna come towards me. Let's go ahead and stitch all the way down to the end, and you're gonna notice that now it has that blinking reverse button uh, function kind of on the screen. So that means that the next thing I need to do is just touch it. The nice thing is I only have to touch it once. I don't have to hold it. One touch, and then just keep sewing until it's done. So it finishes, locks, and then I can use the scissor button. It will then reset the stitch. So the next time I step on the foot control, it will start back at the beginning with those first six stitches down and six back. So this is great because on both ends, they are perfectly locked. So I'm not gonna have any stitches coming undone at the beginning and the end. I like to use this when I'm working on something big and bulky. I've got only two hands and I almost need four. This is the stitch I'll use because I don't have to touch and hold this reverse button to get those locking stitches to start. And I only have to reach up off my fabric once to touch that reverse button to get it to finish. So then after I go stitch again, this is how it's gonna look. Back and then finish. And you can touch it for any length of seam you want. I love it, it's one and done. Your stitch length, you can still control it, uh, be whatever it needs to be, but those locking stitches are always going to be there. Give it a try. And when you're stitching out your stitch book, now you'll know what stitch number five is all about. If you're wondering what a stitch book is all about, make sure you click the links in the description below and we'll tell you how wonderful it is and show you how to make the ultimate stitch book.